Hello kids and welcome back to another episode of Avondale United Methodist Church Kids Church Online. I miss you all a whole bunch, I really do. But before I get started, I have to talk to the adults really quick. Hello parents, I am Dennis Myers. I am the children's minister here at Avondale United Methodist Church. And I've been doing weekly videos, been putting them out on Wednesday on Facebook and YouTube while we're not meeting in the church building. And uh, what I've been using for a guide is the Kids Guide to the Fruits of the Spirit by Group Publishing. Okay, kids, we have been talking about the Fruits of the Spirit. The Fruits of the Spirit are gifts that God gives us so we can better show His love to other people. Last week, the first one we learned about was love. I love love. Well, that's one kind of love. There are many different types of love. Now, the next fruit of the Spirit we're going to learn about is joy. Oh, I know about that. We sing about that in kids' church. That's right. We like to sing. We got the joy down in our heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart? Where down in my heart? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart to stay? What? Okay, wait. It's the joy, joy, joy down in my heart? I thought it was joy, joy, joy down in my cart. No, no, no. It's the joy down in your heart. That's okay. We all make mistakes, right? Because nobody is perfect. Except who? Jesus! Jesus! That's right. Now let's see what the Bible says about joy. I'm going to be reading from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you all with joy and peace in believing so that you may be abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. May God bless our hearing and understanding of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Amen. The Bible tells us that God will fill us with joy when we trust in him. He will fill us with so much joy that we will overflow with the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, Pastor Dennis. I clogged up the toilet again. That's definitely not the overflow I'm talking about. I'm talking about being filled with so much joy, having so much joy that you just overflow with it. Uh, I have lots of joy. I get joy when I eat my favorite snack. Well, I get joy when I play with my favorite toy. Uh, I get joy when everyone is quiet. Well, I think you all might be thinking of happiness. Happiness and joy, they're a lot of like. See, you might be really happy when you're eating your favorite snack, but when your snack's gone, your happiness kind of goes away. The joy doesn't do that. The joy that God puts in your heart lasts forever. But Pastor Dennis, I have the love of God inside me, but sometimes I still get sad. Oh, I know what you mean. I mean, there are times in our life where we get really sad, or frustrated, or angry, or anxious. You know, life is full of ups and downs. We have good times and we have bad times and even scary times. But God's love and joy are always with us, no matter what. But Pastor Dennis, I have joy in my heart, but sometimes I get really scared or anxious. And it just happens and I can't help it. That happens to a lot of us. There are many kids watching right now that are not really feeling that good. There's been a lot of changes recently. Things are really different. They've been kind of hard to understand. and We've been having to deal with it. Also, there are lots of people watching right now that are struggling with mental illnesses. Lots of people are watching it that struggle with mental illness. Even Pastor Dennis. Even you, Pastor Dennis? Yep, even me. That makes me feel a little better knowing there are people out there like me. There are many, many people like you. You are not alone. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. There are so many of us that they gave us a whole entire month. 
Even if your happiness level is on empty, God is there with you. He is with you during the good times. He is with you during the bad times. He's with you no matter what, and He loves you no matter what. So I can have joy even when I'm sad? Yes, you can. You can have joy in difficult times. Sometimes, for Pastor Dennis anyway, sometimes when times are like really hard for me, that's when I feel God's love the most. Sometimes I feel so much love and joy that I just start to overflow with it. <laughs> Stop! You're going to make me cry. It looks like you might be overflowing right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, kids. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Knowing Jesus gives us joy, and our joy can overflow onto others when we show the love of Jesus through our words and actions. We want others to know about the joy of having Jesus in their hearts. And in our carts. <laughs> <sighs> okay, now I have seen some awesome videos done by some of our Avondale kids. I think it's really great what you're doing. I'm really proud of you. Now, if you can think of any ways to show your fruits of the Spirit, I want to see them or hear about them. Now, this is strictly with your parents' permission, but have your parents give me an email. My email is office at aumcjax.org. That's office at aumcjax.org. I'd love to hear from you. Were you able to spot Talking Teddy the Fox last Sunday? You see him back there? Be sure to look out for him this Sunday. Now, before I leave, let's say a prayer. Almighty God, thank you so much for giving us the fruits of the Spirit so that we can show your love to others through our words and actions. Thank you for giving us love, and thank you for filling our hearts with joy. May our joy overflow onto others, Lord. We love you, and we praise you, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.